meditating, I noticed that fabricating an I, I was feeling, etc., was untenable. There was only the experience. This seemed to clearly disprove the self. This notion is so fundamentally simple. Why then is it so elusive? My gratitude. Mm -hmm. Well, it's only elusive because we've cultivated a sense of self. We have a very strong sense of self as um, human beings. We are born with it. In, the, in you know something we've cultivated lifetime after lifetime, but it's it's something we reaffirm throughout our life. The idea of this is mine, um, the idea of of being given things, of uh, identifying with things. When you recognize something, you um, desire it, and so you cling to it, and you get the idea that you're somehow in control of it. We cultivate uh, habits of misperception and it's not just identification with self it's, it's greed, you know, there's actually no if you think about it logically there's nothing different between pleasure and pain and yet we prefer one and, and abhor the other why is that? it's through misapprehension it's through misconception misunderstanding about reality it's only habitual. It's actually only you that's like that. You know, there there are people out there who aren't like that. There are people who are actually born with very little attachment to self. Now, most of us aren't so lucky, but it's um, when you say it being elusive, it's only elusive to you, and you know, to most of us. But um, it's only it's only that's only an artificial. It's not natural. To, it doesn't mean it's natural to believe in a self. It just means that we've gotten so lost and so caught up in misunderstanding that we actually are born like this. You know, this it, it comes back to to the idea that being human is somehow natural. There's nothing natural about having ten fingers and ten toes. It's 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 a ridiculous situation that we're in that we have to have to um, mash up physical matter in certain types of physical matter in our mouths and then have it passed down into our our, our chests and, and be digested in our abdomens and then excreted as smelly, awful uh, fecal matter. There's nothing natural about that. You know, our, our whole existence that, that we should have to bump into each other in order to, to, to procreate, to, to in, in order for someone to be born there has to be two uh, beings of certain types coming together and uh, you know, having orgasms and then you know, the, 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 on the off chance that an egg and a sperm are going to get together. I mean, it's, just, it's a ridiculous situation that we find ourselves in. There, there's nothing natural about any of this. So the view of self is kind of, it's one of the major glues that holds it all together. It's one of the, the, the major points where we could say this is where we went wrong, and yet we keep affirming it. We keep mm, making the mistake and augmenting the mistake and, and cultivating that mistake. Now, for some people, it's not that case. They're, they're, on, the, they're on a path uh, away from that, especially those people who practice the Buddha's teaching, who practice mindfulness meditation. They find themselves seeing clearly and realizing, oh, well, this is horrible thing that we've gotten ourselves into, we've, the situation that we've got ourselves into due to our misapprehension. Um, so it's, in, in, a sh in short, it's just because of ha your habitual misunderstanding. But once you start to read about it, it just seems so obvious, and you realize, oh, what an idiot I've been, right? So, so often when the Buddha would teach, at the end of the talk, people would say, it's like I was blind and now I could see. It's like you've something was turned over and you've just put it, like a, a piece of furniture was tipped over and you've just righted it for me. And, and, and now everything seems right again. That was quite common in, in the Buddha's teaching. It was just like putting things back in order, straightening out one's understanding about reality because we get crooked otherwise. We get lost and confused and tied up in knots.